reading the paper in the house and it, I heard a couple of booms or bangs like something exploding and I looked out and it was uh, pretty much fully engulfed already. Uh, yeah, motor home and uh, a Hummer and a, a Tahoe. I got them out. And, uh, and this truck right over here, this uh, lift truck, it isn't mine so I wanted to make sure I got it out. And that's it. Anything else in is in terms there? of like value, that's like a hundred thousand right there that you save by getting those out. Uh, yeah, I'd say about a hundred, yeah. And what was in the what was in the barn? Uh, yeah, a couple of ma machines, just tools and equipment. Nothing uh, leftovers, bits of wood and stuff. Lots of antiques in the upstairs that I haven't even looked at for a while. So and any animals? Just chickens in the barn in the barn here, but they're they're gone, I think. I would say we likely had uh, between 15 and 20 from Dorchester and nine from Thorndale with all the trucks from both stations. Can you tell us what happened as far as you know? Call came in as the uh, barn being fully engulfed in flames uh, with chickens in it. Uh, at that time we called uh, uh, Thorndale to attend. No personal injuries, no. And uh, vehicles are in there. He's taken out a motor home, a Hummer and uh, this white ladder truck here. So uh, the, the barn itself will be uh, total. On the other side there's a quonset which uh, just made a material of anything that'll melt. But this front building here, I'm just calling the tack. It'll be uh, okay.